What's up? Today on Bully Blog, we're going to talk about orthopedic issues in Bulldogs. So I'm going to focus on the, the rear end and we're going to focus on the top three that I typically see. So number one is what we call an anterior cruciate ligament or an ACL tear. Number two would be a luxating patella where the kneecap pops in and out. And the last one would be hip dysplasia. So we're going to focus on each one. We're going to start off talking about an ACL tear. Uh, this is often overlooked in Bulldogs. A lot of these that we see have been misdiagnosed as either uh, arthritis or he just sprained it. So again, the most important thing, and I'm going to highlight this on all three of these, you have to get a diagnosis. So with an ACL tear, this is going to be the one where they were doing good, doing good, doing good, and then all of a sudden just they pulled up lame on the back leg. So diagnosis on these, and we've done previous blogs on this, we got to separate either what we call a complete tear or a partial tear. Complete tears are a fairly easy diagnosis. We'll get these guys on their side, we'll do what's called a cranial drawer test where if I can manually shift that tibia bone forward, 100% diagnostic, they tore their ACL. The tricky ones are when these guys get partial tears. So these are the ones where they got a little bit more of a chronic history where kind of off and on lameness, but it's focused on that one leg. And these guys, we won't get that positive cranial drawer test, but we will see a lot of fluid on an x-ray inside that knee. And those two kind of go together. If these guys have a history consistent of when they're sitting, they bow the leg out, partial weight bearing on that leg, fluid inside the knee, I'm calling that a partial ACL tear. In both those cases, these guys do very well surgically. Second thing we see is uh, luxating patella. I would say 95% of these are medial, meaning the kneecap pops towards the inside. Uh, in some traumatic rare cases, they can have lateral luxating patellas. But in these cases, majority of the time, this is a genetic breed predisposition, meaning these guys are born with this issue. These typically aren't traumatic like it would be for the ACL tear. These are more, thanks mom and dad, they genetically pass that down. So in these cases, um, very rarely down the road is it going to be an issue. If that kneecap's going to create an issue, it's going to be fairly early on as they're younger. So. I see an eight-year-old dog come in all of a sudden limping on that leg, I'm thinking ACL. I see a one-year-old dog with kind of an off and on skipping and kicking that leg. I, I, on exam, if I feel that kneecap popping out, then we'll go ahead and definitely uh, register that as a possible uh, diagnosis for the lameness. And then the third thing we see is hip dysplasia. And um, I don't know if people took a course way back when we were younger or what, but I, almost every owner comes in thinking hips. And in Bulldogs, it's typically not the case. Uh, I'd say very rarely do we diagnose hip dysplasia in these guys, but if and when we do, this is more of a chronic, long-term issue. You know, it's what we call a biphasic disease. Um, you'll see it a bit when they're younger, but it really kind of bites in the butt when they become arthritic way down the road. So that's not one that all of a sudden is going to pop up one day and say, oh my God, that's a hip issue. So in review, you see a bulldog all of a sudden limping one day, I, I'm thinking knee, and I'm thinking kneecap or, or ACL and then we'll kind of go from there. But the complicated thing with orthopedics is the, the, the diagnosis part and all too often kind of leading off on this path of pain meds and, and suspicions. It's pretty simple. Rule those three big things out right away. If you have one of those that we at least have a prognosis and we can at least shape some type of game plan around it. Um, but otherwise it's all suspicions and just false hope. So hopefully that helps guys. Um, we can isolate each one of these discussions a little bit more in future blogs, but hopefully that helps. Take care, guys.